Hey, this is DTV in the morning here with EB. EB, and we are also here with the Slumpkin Man himself, Forrest Heichel, joining us for this audio commentary. Welcome, Forrest. Uh, hi, thanks for having me. Did yeah. you design the Slumpkin Mobile? Uh, well, after a fashion. I mean, it was uh, a uh, tricycle that I, I already had, um, and then a beach umbrella, which is actually in my car right now. All right. And I just sort of stuck one onto the other with tape. And that that's all your clothing too, right? Like, oh yeah. I feel like we what we maybe came over to your house and did like a fashion show deal and like that one, that's the Slumpkin Man. I think you just showed up in it and it was fine because you're Forrest. I don't think I own that jacket anymore. That's very sad. Yeah, well. That's at the Smithsonian, I would imagine. Probably. Yeah. That's that's <laughs> what usually happens to old soggy gym set pieces. So, um, the thing about Slumpkin that I am never asked is, why Slumpkin? Do you remember why Slumpkin? Slu for slushy, mick for milk, and pin for bowling pin, which doesn't quite make sense because the P comes before the K in Slumpkin. That is exactly correct. Um, that character right there, played by Noah Burns, is just walking off screen named milky by dtv just because we needed a name for him that's all he does is purchase milk he has no lines so we could pay him less that way right yeah that's no how lines. that works he's not union <laughs> i don't know if i have that bow tie either or the shirt as a matter of fact well i guess we can't recreate slumpkin like i don't I was think hoping. so yeah that jacket was really something <laughs> <laughs> that sort of off white and like brown and yellow plaid. That so, a heck of a jacket. Oh, I remember we were never in the same place. This is why the dollar bill is uh, that that angled shot because she wasn't actually there. Right. Yeah. You two were shot on different days, and yeah, none of the. Well, that's right. She so we was got the only one who couldn't make it. Yeah. Shot shots with the. So this is Nate Juliar, who is a friend of yours. Who I said, hey, Forrest, do you know anybody who can juggle? Right. Well, because we had the, it, we decided on the bowling pins because you were like, oh, we need slushies and milk and something else weird. I was like, I recently uh, accidentally acquired uh, 20 used bowling pins. <laughs> so we went with that. <laughs> and then you were like, we should have somebody juggle. And so I started going down the list of people uh, who could juggle bowling pins. Um, and I think he was the third person I called, although I had not exhausted my list of people to call. Um, well, he was great for this. Not an actor, but does a great job at it. Yeah. Definitely nailed the juggling part. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, he, he does a great job hitting on Lena and failing. But yeah. <laughs> oh, salt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Apple Apple Plus. Um. What is it? Yellow Meanie, which I don't recommend. <laughs> yeah, we, we gave you a ridiculous list and you just nailed it. You're like, okay, here's all the flavors. The joke being, from my perspective, how can you possibly have that many slushy flavors in that little cart? Along with right. bowling pins. Yeah. <laughs> and milk. And milk. Yeah. Cold this, bowling This is pins. a great shot. It is. You, you, get, you get to see... I wonder and, who lives in those houses. <laughs> sure they're all at their windows that day i feel like this is not a good first soggy gym episode because if you watch it the, for the first time you don't know the deal with soggy gym you're like i don't get it so she's what is it you don't realize that somebody is going to get it well you and, you, know who. and you don't know that lena is attempting to summon soggy gym <laughs> also right Which I think is probably clear by this episode, right? She's done it. Mm, no, maybe this, milk this, this is, is the this first, is the first one. one. So oh, probably not so clear by this episode. Hey, well, spoiler for anyone who's watching the audio commentary before, and not else. any of the regular. Episodes. By well, the way, this shot was thought of on the spot. I, I said, "What? What if you just keep going?" Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I and love so it. we did the double ominous. Yeah, I can't even remember. Do we come back or does it? Nope, it just cuts. <laughs> I was like almost expecting to see like the camera person's shoes, you know. 
That would have been kind of funny. A little meta. Hands down here's, to like here's, the, here's tripod. the tripod. Here's my feet. <laughs> also, the fact that they know each other. Like, what is his name? Phil? What do they, <laughs> they call him? Phil? <laughs> yeah, something like that. It's, you know, because clearly he drops his pins a lot and yeah. injures himself. Yeah. Yeah, wasn't there like an again in there or something? Yeah, again. Yeah, again. We're watching these without the sound, by the way, if anyone is confused. We'll just let this play out. And they are right off into the distance. Do you still have the tricycle? It's a great freeze. Yeah. 